What's up, YouTube? Nice Edge here. Got another little quick, uh, yeah, another little fun review for you. Uh, <laughs> this thing came in last week, uh, courtesy of Meredith. Let me get it out. Meredith Dume. Go subscribe to her channel. She's got a lot of cool stuff. Uh, she's just starting out. She only got a few videos, but her videos are pretty good. Um, so I think she's uh, did another one on that uh, Dessert Warrior, which is a pretty cool looking little knife. Uh, she's a uh, really good and really generous uh, member of the community. She was nice enough to let us borrow this to, for me to check out. Um, so anyway, go take a look at our channel. It's MPG EDC's our channel. And um, to go to it, you just got to go up to the search bar, search at Meredith Dumay 5193. It'll take like 20 seconds for you to do that and uh, help her out a lot. Go subscribe to her channel. And before I forget, my own channel here, Night's Edge, the one you're watching. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you want more content. Instagram, TikTok, email, all that stuff's down below in the description if you want to contact me. So this is a uh, Balasong trainer by Squid Industries, American-made company. Get a close-up on that an american company just say and uh this is all aluminum pretty unique thing this is not a knife this is uh just meant for you know training purposes only for people like myself that don't know how to use balisongs now i have looked at a couple of videos online for some uh tricks uh learning uh like butterfly knife balisong tricks i am 100 percent sure that i'm not going to be able to do that so I'm not even going to try. This is the only trick I know, the one-handed opening where you flip it around like that and open it up. Now, there's a lot of cool stuff um, with balisongs. A lot of, lot, of cool, uh, lot of cool stuff that people do with balisong knives. So anyway, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and do like a normal review. I'll do measurements, all that good stuff. So coming in at, from the tip of the, uh, from the tip of the funny face all the way to the end of the handle, you're looking at nine and right at nine and seven eighths of an inch right there. And, uh, uh not blade. Uh, I don't know what you call it. call it a blade. It's not blade, but blade length. You're looking at just under four and a half, right under four and a half there. And, um, yeah, Let me go ahead get the calibers out here. Do this all the way, the traditional way that I would do a knife, right? So blade stock thickness, thickest part of the spine, right? You're looking at 142 thousandths, 141 thousandths, not really super slicey. And here's another reason it's not super slicey is this is the same thickness, right? Because there's not an apex, there's not an edge. This is a trainer. So zero those out, zero those out the right way. And the handle thickness, you're looking at right at half an inch, just a hair under half an inch for the handle, not especially thick. <clears throat> Go ahead and do size comparisons here. Spyderco, paramilitary two. <laughs> Spyderco pair of three, larger than both. Ontario Nice Rat Model 1. Ontario Nice Rat Model 2. Larger than both. And last but not least, we'll do the Ritter Hogue RSK MK1. And the Hogue Deca. Larger than both. Put that up. Yeah, let's do one more. Microtech Direct Delta. Just a hair larger than the Direct Delta. Longer, I guess, would be the best way to say that, right? Because uh, you can't go by standards with uh, with this knife because it's a trainer. All right. So, put this on the side. Get the scale out here. Now, this thing, this is... This is, I mean, there's no plastic on this. This is all metal, but it's aluminum. Aluminum is a pretty lightweight metal. 3.8 ounces. That's incredible for the amount of uh, blade length you get there. So 
people that uh, subscribe to the ounce ounce and inch ratio of uh, weight, you know, weight to blade size, they would love this thing, even though you can't cut with it. It's just a trainer, once again. Let me weigh that one more time. 3.8. 3.8, all right. Put that up now here's the blue jeans get out the old blue jeans here see what it does in the pocket there's no clip on it goes in the pocket pretty good can't even see it right because you're putting it in the pocket you're not uh clipping it to the pocket there's no pocket clip uh hardware check on it i don't know why in the world you would ever want to disassemble this but it looks to be allen heads and i don't have those on me right now so it's to be a couple of uh, smaller Allen head bolts there to disassemble it. Allen head screws. I guess, uh, I don't know. Maybe if you want to, I don't know if you could, could you maybe get one in another material and swap the handle out, the handles out one by one? I don't know. Um, anyway, this... Uh, I think that's all the measurements I got to go through as far as dimensions and everything. The weight, we talked about how nice lightweight it is. It's made out of aluminum. Squid Industries is a great company. I'm going to have a uh, link down below in the description. All, uh, all aluminum. Uh, super duper lightweight. Good knife for a trainer. You know, I'm kind of poking fun at it a little bit with the size comparisons to sharp knives and stuff like that. But... Um, if you're planning on getting a Balasong, I've never, not once, been in love with Balasong knives. They haven't really done anything for me. Um, I like out the front knives. I like, you know, automatic knives out the side, side, uh, side folding knives, regular folding knives, you know. But I've never really liked Balasong. I don't really have anything against them at all. Um, I've just never really been into them. So, uh, but... If I was into them, I would think this would be a good starting point. I've definitely played around with this thing, and this thing definitely kind of uh, kind of gets you used to to what to expect with a with a balasong knife. Now it's really smooth. I don't know. I don't. I've never handled another balasong knife to compare it to, as far as smoothness goes. But whenever it's opening like this, whenever these handles are moving or the blades moving. It's, it's, it's super smooth. It's got like that smooth, glossy uh, steel ball bearing feel to it. You know, it's like super duper smooth there. I think they're actually running. I'm going to get a close up of that. Let's see. Let's see if I can tell anything with the flashlight here. I think they're running on ball bearings, actually. Not 100% sure on that. I'll link their uh, website. I'll have them linked uh, in the description if you guys want to go check them out, do like a little more research on it. But this is a pretty neat knife, though. Um, trainer knife, Squid Industries, all aluminum. They got a few different ones on there. I was looking at some of their stuff. They got some pretty neat stuff on there. But uh, trainer is a good thing to have. If you're planning on getting a balasong, like I said earlier, it'll, uh, you know, kind of getting used to the motion of it, how it works, you know, so as opposed to like a traditional pocket knife, you know, you've got a handle. This is what you're supposed to grab. This is not right on a balasong. It's got a blade that free swings in the middle between two handles that also serve as the closed, you know, as, as Kind of like the handle of the knife that it folds into so opening it up you on most of them you have like a little lock or something right there um opening it up that's all handle that's all blade closing it up you know the the danger with a balasong is you could have your finger you know you're you're a lot more prone to having your hand in the path of the uh the cutting edge right um, but if you know what you're doing and if you have the benefits of, um, having a trainer, it would help out a lot, uh, as far as safety goes, you know, having a balasong, I would think, you know, I would think it's a good thing to have, 
you know, even even though it is kind of, you know, it's funny. You know, I mean, they shoot, look at it. I mean, they even make fun of themselves. Like a little happy face on there. You know, that's pretty cool, I think. Um, but it is a necessity, I think. I would say if you're going to get a ballast song, if you've never handled it before, it's a good thing to have to practice with, kind of get used to it a little bit. You know, um, I don't know standard sizes for most ballast songs, so... But if this is kind of like the standard, you know, it'll tell you right off the bat if, you know, if you want to carry something like this, you know, I mean, it is a little more sizable, like, you know, when you compare it to like the Rat 1, it is a larger uh, profile, if you're, especially if you're sticking it all the way in your pocket. Now, I'm sure uh, the makers of Ballot Songs have figured out how to put a pocket clip, you know, and I'm sure they've got them with sheaves and stuff like that. But, um... It is a good thing to have to get used to the idea of having a ballast song and to uh, kind of verse yourself in the use of it before you, you know, go all in and have one with a with an actual sharp ass edge that you could cut yourself on, right? But uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. Squid Industries, go check them out. I have them linked down below. Definitely go subscribe to uh, Meredith Dume, uh, fifty one ninety three. MPG EDC, her and her husband got some really cool knives, really great videos, and um, uh, that's pretty much it for this time, I guess. Uh, Y'all check me out on Instagram, TikTok, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you like it. I really appreciate everyone watching the videos. It means the world to me. Um, definitely kind of validates what I'm doing, my little knife hobby I got here, and helps me out a lot. So I'll see you guys on the next one.